Hi, I'm Jack with JackNet RGB Sync, and welcome to our brand new comprehensive tutorial video series. This video will cover what you need to get up and running with JackNet RGB Sync in its most basic configuration. If you wish to use MSI or EVGA brand devices, you will need to perform additional steps to set them up. You can find the links to these videos in the video description below. Before installing JackNet RGB Sync, ensure that you have all required software to control your RGB devices the normal way. If you do not already have it installed, install Corsair IQ. IQ is required to use JackNet RGB Sync. After installing IQ, download and install any other necessary programs. It is this portion in the video that you should perform any additional steps to prepare your particular devices for syncing. If you have any MSI or EVGA devices, pause this video and watch those tutorials now with the link in the video description below. To download and install JackNet RGB Sync, first go to www.rgbsync.com and click the large download button. The most recent version of the software will automatically be downloaded, but if you would like to download an older version of the software for compatibility reasons, you may do so on the same webpage. Once the installer has finished downloading, click on the file to start the installation process. You may receive a Windows Smart Screen pop-up, but this is normal behavior since JackNet RGB Sync is not made by a large software company. Click Run Anyway to proceed with installation. Follow the steps in the Setup Wizard to install JackNet RGB Sync. If you would like the program to run on startup, check that box during the installation process. Once the installer has finished installing JackNet RGB Sync, please restart your computer. After your computer has been restarted, launch all software required to control your RGB devices and ensure that these programs are set to run on startup. Also, verify that Enable SDK is checked in Corsair IQ. Next, launch JackNet RGB Sync. Click on the JackNet RGB Sync icon in your system tray and click Open Configuration. Once the UI is open, you are ready to begin synchronizing your RGB devices. First, go to the Settings tab and verify that all your RGB devices show up under the Devices section. If a device is missing, it may be misconfigured or not supported. Once you have verified that all supported devices are being detected, head back to the LED Groups tab to begin creating LED Groups. LED Groups are the way in which JackNet RGB Sync is able to synchronize your RGB devices. Think of each group as a virtual LED. The control LED of each group controls the color for the entire group. All LEDs added to a group will be the color of that group's control LED. Create your first LED group by clicking the New LED Group button. Give the group a short name describing its function, such as GPU or motherboard. Then assign a control LED to the group. Currently, only Corsair LEDs are supported as control LEDs. If you do not have any Corsair RGB devices though, this is perfectly fine. In IQ, simply uncheck the Show Only Connected Devices checkbox. Now you have many virtual IQ devices to get control LEDs from. My preference is to use the mouse pad, so for this example I will be synchronizing my graphics card LED to the first LED on my mouse pad. To do this, I select mouse pad 1 as the control LED and drag the graphics card LED into the LED group. You can repeat this LED group creation process as many times as you like to allow complex synchronization patterns. Synchronization does use CPU power, however, so unless you have a very powerful CPU, avoid making more than 10 to 15 LED groups. After you have finished creating your LED groups, make sure to close the program manually. This allows it to save your configuration files so that you do not have to set up your groups each time. It is also recommended to save a backup of your configuration file to a safe place on your computer. Do this by clicking the Export Groups button, entering a file name, and clicking Save. You can create multiple profiles and switch between them by clicking Import Profile. Once a file has been selected, the program will restart. Once it reopens, the new profile will be loaded. Also, if you have JackNet RGB Sync Premium, you can import and export profiles to the cloud to serve as a backup. Before I wrap up this tutorial, I would like to give a huge thanks to some of the people that have helped make JackNet RGB Sync what it is. I'd first like to give a huge shout out to both Emulamer and Hexel who have both contributed to increasing our device support. Without them, MSI and EVGA devices would not be supported. I'd also like to thank Darth Appy for creating the RGB.net library that this program utilizes to control the RGB devices. Also worthy of recognition are my Discord moderators for providing technical support and assistance to many users. 
Finally, I'd like to give a huge thanks to all donators who have helped to make this software possible. Your contributions are sincerely appreciated. This concludes the basic JackNet RGB Sync tutorial. For devices that require additional setup, and for advanced topics like how to sync devices over the network and how to use audio visualizers, click the playlists on the right side of this video. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.